Hello, folks. This is Sean Tackett, uh, Booty Man, my brother Mike here, Weed and Freak. Tag team time because uh, we're going to start out. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, this is my second part in Violence and Hate, uh, Civil Discourse. And I'll get to the story in a minute. But for all you new subscribers and to us who want to listen to these uh, uh, dumbass sock accounts, Michael and I are racist. We're racist. Well, let's take a look at some of our music collection. Here we have Salt and Pepper, Sam Moore, the great BB King, Cowboy Troy, Blind Boys of Alabama, Blind Boys of Alabama, Blind Boys of Alabama, African music, Doo-Wop 50s music, The Supremes. Beyonce, Clarence Carter, Blind Boys of Alabama, Ray Charles, Angel Taylor, KLF, Moo Moo Land, Bobby McFerrin, Don't Worry Be Happy, Vanessa Williams, African Chant Music, I love this stuff, Darius Rucker, Cowboy Troy, and Michael's the biggest Mariah Carey fan in the world. Wow, that, that's just a weird CD collection for uh, racists to have, isn't it? Really, really unbelievable, yeah. Yeah, these people are in, uh, oh, I forgot to mention, uh, 12 Gage is going around saying I like to talk to underage girls and want to sexually molest them. If you see this 12 Gage pump, he's a loser who I've beaten down because he likes to act like a 12 year old. Just ignore him. Yeah, yeah, yeah loser. So anyway, let's get to the story. Uh, speaking of racism, uh, you know, something that Michael and I are not, and McCainus Drew and them are. Uh, other people that are with their ilk. Uh, Representative uh, Tea Party uh, response to Waters. A Tea Party group fight back against Representative Maxine Waters, Democrat, who this weekend uh, uh, told the small government movement can go straight to hell. Amen, sister. But Jenny Beth Martin and Mark Meckler co-founders of the Tea Party Patriots are calling on President Obama's and their leaders uh, the party to censure their own. Is civility required only of their opponents? Martin and Meckler asked a statement Monday. The president's silence on these latest violence of Syria has been deafening, but not surprising. Waters made her comments an audience this Saturday in uh, California. This is a tough game. You cannot be intimidated. You cannot be frightened. As far as I can, as far as I'm concerned, the Tea Party can go straight to hell. Amen, sister. You're one of my heroes of the week. The P, the Tea Party can go straight to hell, folks. Cause you know what? They want to talk about civility. They want to talk about civility. Mike, shall we roll? How the Tea Party shows civility. We have posters of tons Sign. of Tea Party signs of Tea Partiers. Being civil. Mike, take over, my lad. Yeah, um. Sean, watch out, will you? <laughs> oh, man. Um. Well, ladies and gentlemen, all I gotta say is enjoy these slides and stuff of the Tea Party being civil. And I included a couple of special shots to just for this to show a bunch of people together so that way I won't hear. It's one or two paintballs. Yeah, it's just one or two incidences. It's just one or two incidences. Yeah, like I said, Mike. Come on, let's let's start rolling the video. Let's show. Here they are, folks. The Tea Party being civil.
Oh yeah, gee, folks, there was nothing racist about that, right? Oh, absolutely not. Did you see all the civil discourse? Oh, did you was, see all the minorities there? Oh yeah, oh yeah, it was just oh. And folks, by the way, for you who want to know, we're going to put the link up so you can see all the signs. That is from uh, www. Uh, dot com. Yep. We will put the link up. And the article was from USA Today. Yes. And um, now it's time to keep going with a great website that uh, talks about racism and stuff. The um, Southern Poverty Law Center. Arizona Tea Party affiliate promoting hate group leader. Uh, Glenn Spencer. This guy's an awful, uh, wonderful folks. Uh, big old-fashioned racist. And... From the people who did the article, the Tea Party Patriots. Gee, who's he a part of? The Tea Party Patriots. Mike, please talk about his civility. Yes. Okay, talking about how he's obsessed with illegal immigrants. More like obsessed. For years, Spencer has peddled a racist uh, conspiracy theory that suggests that the Mexican government is purposely sending undocumented immigrants north uh, northward as part of a plan to reconquer the American Southwest and ultimately transform it into a uh, northern Mexican state to be called uh, to be called At Azatan. Aztean. Aztean. Sorry about that. Spencer doesn't just limit himself to bashing immigrants. In 2008, he wrote a blog post titled, It's Jew-Controlled Hollywood Brainwashing Americans. The answer he concluded was yes. The same year, he uh, followed uh, uh, Shwana Forday, the then much-disliked border vigilante, now a convicted child killer, to live in an RV on his ranch. In 1998, he gave a speech to the White Supremacist Council of Conservative Citizens, a racist group that is called Blacks, a retrograde species of humanity. In 2001, Spencer had uh, Benita, uh, Bettina McCann, uh, then the fiancé of neo-Nazi Steve Barry, hand-deliver copies of his film Bonds of Our Nation to every member of Congress. The video largely uh, rehashes his Aztean conspiracy theory. Spencer has flirted with major white national supremacist groups and anti-Semitic figures, and he once promoted a booklet uh, from a white hate group falsely alleging that blacks and Latinos are far more likely than whites to carry out hate crimes. Spencer isn't the only unpleasant character the Tea Party affiliates have promoted. Last May, Gatlinburg, Tennessee chapter hosted Pam Geller, yeah, the, the person that Richard Coughlin tore apart, uh, the vitriolic head of the Muslim bashing group Stop Islamization of America, which follows the Southern, uh, which excuse me, which the Southern Poverty Law Center de uh, designated a hate group this year. No hate. Yeah. The Tea oh. Party's no hate. Yeah, no party. Of course not. And uh, I got a story here from uh, Saturday, August twenty seventh, two thousand eleven, from Immigration Mexican American dot blogspot dot com. It's called Tea Party Hate Group Leader William Sheen. <laughs> Of the appellate advocates violence in the streets. This guy did a radio interview, and Mr. Jean said, We are no longer referring to him as President Barack Obama. Our national organization has made a decision and made the announcement we now refer to him as Dictator Obama. That's what he is. And basically, at this point, if you are looking for a peaceful political recourse, there really isn't one we can think of. And I'm really not sure what to tell people other than I guess they need to make some decisions soon to just accept whatever comes next or some type of extra political activities that I cannot talk about because they're all, all illegal and violent. Civil discourse. The Tea Party. And where, where was MSNBC? Yeah. CNN. CNN. ABC. ABC. CBS. Yes. You know, I mean, I, I, where were they? I where mean, they? why didn't they talk about this? Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, they jumped all over uh, uh, the, uh, the, the poor little Miss Democrat woman who told the Tea Party to go to hell. Oh, yeah, they, they, told, they, they talked know, about that. Where was the civil discourse? Oh. Yeah. Well, come on, guys. Why aren't we getting on to uh, Mr. Uh, Raceface mm -hmm. here? The Tea Party. It's unfreaking believable how uh, uh, so many... I, I mean, and, and folks, these people, I mean, there's thousands upon thousands upon thousands uh, of tea partiers. There are. Yep. But it's unbelievable how just such a, you know, a, a small group can, can control so much of the media and politics uh, well, today. It's because of the Koch brothers and the John Burke Society yeah. and all them. See, they, they are yeah. the ones who... Yeah. Uh, 
they 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 own the media basically. Yeah. And because of that, they're the ones who influence what stories go on and stuff. You have to turn to places like The Nation yep. and Media Matters and Think Progress and, current and Politi- TV. Pl- yeah, Current TV, PolitiFact, mm-hmm. because they're non-biased organizations and yeah. stuff. And, and I mean, folks, I tell you, we don't like a lot of stuff that Obama has done, but we respect our he's president. He's the president. He is the president. We have such high regard for him, and we respect him. And like I said, we don't like a lot of stuff that he's done. But, you know, and don't get me hey, I mean, the Tea Party's bad, but there are liberals yeah. out there like McCainus Drew and them who are phony liberals who do yeah. this kind of crap, too. Oh, yeah. You know, so it's on the left side. But, but for the Tea Party to call out someone and say, you civil discourse, the 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 signs that you guys just seen it's not just one or two people out in the thousands of crowd no it's thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people with these hate signs and if it's just one or two people how come these tea party members are you know what hey take those signs down yeah. how come there are people around there grabbing them say you know what we don't want this this is not us take those signs yeah. down they're not doing it those, those, those audience members are like eee, look at the party sign we agree with it yeah I mean you know I mean honestly why? Where? Where is you know the outrage from the Tea Party on this? Yeah, I mean you know, it's just like yes, liberals. You should get angry when you see a sign that has Scott Walker with crosshairs on it. Yeah. That you know that, that I mean I don't like Scott Walker. Right, I don't either. But I want him recalled and out of office. Oh, but I don't want him shot. Yeah. Yeah. I. I mean you know and, and real quick, isn't it sad, folks? This is how far we've come. When Miss Gifford got shot in the head. There was a liberal and a conservative who made a, 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 a statement who wanted it to sign. Every Congress member, House and Senate, wanted it, was supposed to sign it. Yeah. Only three people out of the House and the Senate. Five. Well, five. Five people. Five people signed it. Out of what, how many? What? A hundred senators and uh, four hundred and something uh, House members. Nine. Only five stinking people signed it. You know, and like I said, hey, the, 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 the liberals are bad, too. They're not worse than the Tea Party. The Tea Party's no. the worst. When Miss Gifford got shot, we they said, we will not be silent. We will not be silent. Meaning they want to keep up this stupid hate speech. Yeah. You know, folks, and my third part of my hate uh, and violence in America is going to be on September 11th. That's what it is on September 11th. It's going to be on the history of violence in America and how far we've come. How do we pay tribute to those poor people who died? We still have hate. We still uh, use all this. You know, is this how we respect their memory? Seconding. No. Well, yeah, it's seconding, but it's also the truth. 